Okay, you turn the switch to the green dot, you take the lower lever, that spark, about two clicks is all it takes. It takes very little spark. Top letter is the gas. If it was cold, I'd choke it, but it's not, so I won't. And the choke's the little wire sticking out on yeah, the... Yeah, this is the choke. And other than that... And that's usually all it takes to run. If you stop the motor, you release the tank, the pressure on the tank. That's the oil tank? This is the oil tank. And what that does, just open it and then close it back up. The pressure that's built up in the tank will cause the drippers to continue to drip. If you take the pressure off, it stops it. And that, that right there is the pump for pressurizing the... Right. When you get ready to start it, when the, there's no pressure on the tank, you give four or five strokes here, that pressurizes the tank. The tank picks up its pressure off the crankcase. As the two pistons come together, they create about a pound and a half of force, and that's what powers the tank. So you don't have to pump that up while you're driving it? Oh, no. No. No, there's, when you're driving it, you do nothing. The gas tank's under the seat. It'll go, I think it holds eight gallons of gas, and it'll go about 120, 125 miles. Go from here to Lansing on a tank of gas, but you're out of gas when you get there. <laughs> That's it. If you wanted to take the hood off, there's a little lever here. You pull that back and you can lift the hood right off to immediately service the whole car. Carburetor doesn't drip. It doesn't drip at all other than the oil that drips and when it parks. Where was the gas valve? This is the valve to turn the gas off. As long as it's straight, indicating line of flow indicates the carburetor. To turn it off, this if a guy wants to, that turns the gas valve off. It's the arrow is pointing to the ground, the gas can't get to the carburetor. You turn the arrow that way, the gas gets to the carburetor. The carburetor doesn't drip. Just wanted to try, try and show them some of the sheet metal. Yeah. Well, Sometimes when you're moving, it's a little easier to see it. Yeah. You know, like I said, no, no rust holes. <laughs> Great little car. Good enough. Thanks, Dad. Okay, I'll park her in the back. <laughs>